hope everybody's uh, having a good time being at home and it's time to learn for US1, keep up with your work. Uh, so my series will continue with chapter seven, Pushing West. Um, this chapter is about, uh, is about our push west. You know, we start off with the first 13 colonies um, and colonization and so forth. And colonization is actually going to be pretty important because those are the countries we mostly deal with with our push west. So let's start with America grows bigger. And uh, the territory that we gain, and, and you see America starts off with our 13 colonies. This is the land that we got in after the Revolutionary War. And that was it. This was America at that time. And then in the 1800s, everything changes. We go from this is our country to this is our country. Uh, so it's a very rapid expansion and uh, all of the major countries come into play here. So for instance, France, uh, we come to agreement with Louisiana Purchase, Sp Spain here in Florida, Britain here in Oregon Territory. Now the only two that are different, uh, the last one is going to be from Mexico and Texas is actually gonna be from Texas and I'll explain that more as we get to it. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, when and how we get each of these territories. In 1803, we get Louisiana Purchase. Thomas Jefferson buys the uh, Louisiana Territory from the French and then sends Lewis and Clark to explore and find out what's going on. We also claim this area here, but it's going to be disputed between Britain and us. Then in 1819, Florida, uh, Spain gives it to us. Uh, we technically buy it, but it's really just, you know, we're, we're forgiving them some loans we gave them. Uh, so it's a, it, really the Adam Monastery Street is really what you have to remember that in this treaty, we get Florida from the uh, Spanish. Okay. Uh, then we move on to Texas. Texas is a, a complicated matter. Um, first, Texas has its own independence from Mexico. Mexico becomes independent from Spain. Texas comes independent from Mexico. And then in 1845, Texas decides to join the United States as its own state. Um, so that's when, and you can see things are happening very quickly, 1845, then 1846, we come to a, an agreement with Great Britain about our northern border which allows us now to keep the Oregon Territory. It's not disputed between Great Britain and us. Great Britain will keep, you know, the, this area up here, Vancouver, and we will be able to keep all this territory. So through a treaty, we get Oregon Territory. It becomes totally ours. And then finally, California, 1848. Uh, we have a war with Mexico, basically over, you know, dispute, border disputes with Texas um, creates a war. And we win the war and we get California and the Southwest from Mexico. Uh, one final note, uh, it's not really important, but this little area here, we purchased this land from uh, Mexico for an incredible price, which contrasts greatly with Louisiana Purchase. This was a very, very cheap land deal. We got a lot of land for very little money. And then here we got very little land for a lot of money. And the reason for that is that the southern states, as we go through the chapter, we'll see that there's a growing divide between the uh, slave states and, and free states. And the slave states did not want to go up into northern states, free states, uh, with their railroads to go out west. They wanted to have their own routes, so that's why they purchased this uh, part of, of uh, Mexico from Mexico, and it becomes part of the United States. All right, so that's it for today. Um, we will be going over um, a worksheet about this, so become very familiar with this map right here. Know the territories and the countries that we got them from. Uh, and also the um, chronological order. You know, if you can't remember the exact years that we get, it's fine. But just know that first we get Louisiana, then we get Spain, and then from 1845 to 1848, Texas, Oregon, and California. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next time.